Hello, this is the um, companion video to the negative stitch for the 90 Southern Comforter Cal Part 1. When you look in your um, Part 1 of the Cal, you will have this title page with where to contact me, this page, and of course if you watched uh, the video on how to get started, you can understand what is written here, plus the little tips here, uh, little helpful things. Also, here's a video to the YouTube channel. Um, but what we're doing in this video today is going to be a closer look at the um, negative stitch. So if you wanna follow along, um, the first full row that has a lot of um, DCs, not just one or three, right, at the beginning, is row nine so i have already crocheted up to row nine which would be this one um and as you can see i repeated it just the inside right um so for the negative stitch the reason i came up to row nine we're going we're going to be crocheting row 10 okay in this video um, but in row nine, you can really see those um, pockets or ridges that uh, are normal with any overlay mosaic uh, crochet project. Uh, I don't really like that, you know, your little, like, especially when there's sequences that are as long as this one. Sometimes, you know, things get caught up in it or whatever. So we're going to eliminate that. So to see better, um, you're going to be picking up the back loop also it really doesn't change anything else that you're doing with mosaic crochet so let's get into it uh, by attaching our color B yarn so the B is uh, color B is for the design area so in this row we're actually working on the design not the background okay so you're going to go ahead and attach your yarn with the border stitch on the side. You do that little chain one, you do another SC right into um, the same hole right there. And then I just like to pull it tight a little bit. So the first uh, DC is right here. It's the very first stitch. So you can see on row 10, we need to put an SC in it, right? So just like normal, you're going to go in through that back hook. But before just doing this and making your SC, you're going to add that one really little quick step and pick up that back loop there. Make your SC. Okay, we have to do the SCDC three times. Okay, and you can see that on the graph as well. One, two, three. So you insert to the back, insert to the back, pull up and create your SC. When you have an SC, there's nothing to pull up on the back as you can see. So you just create your DC on the front as usual. Here's a DC, that means there's a pocket in the back with the loose loops. So you insert to the back loop, insert to the back loop, pull up, create your single crochet. DC on the front. Okay, so we did our SD three times and now we're just gonna do single crochets all the way across basically, okay? all the way till you hit that border end. So once we add our negative little stitch in, this is going to look blue on the back. It'll be the opposite. So again, you go in the back loop, back loop of the bottom row and make your DC. back back and once you start going it you it really does not slow you down because these loops seem to line up as you can already see them going 
and uh, so when you hit a patch like this where you do a lot it doesn't impede your speed I'm holding my yarn a little too tight right now so remember anytime there's a DC you go in the back loop of the DC you go into the back loop of two rows below on the back and you create your single crochet and you just keep doing that anywhere you see a double crochet only okay and there's really no way to mess it up even if you grab both loops that is totally fine uh, if you skip one that's okay too if you try to do one on the back of a single crochet you really don't have anywhere to go in because it did not leave a pocket so you're not going to mess up with that either so for this row you would just keep going across remembering to add uh, that little extra step of picking up the back loop wherever you see a DC on the front there's a loop on the back that can be picked up and then you're going to um, have this negative image so if you look right here um, you'll see these three rows going up are actually yellow on the opposite side which is why I decided just to call this step uh, the negative stitch so you can see that this row that's yellow on the front is going to be blue on the back right and then you're gonna have this uh, on the back as well covering each of these uh, it's just a really neat effect I don't think that it takes a lot of yarn a lot of extra yarn to complete so um, I really actually like not having these pockets instead it, it closes it up and you can see it really doesn't mess with the look or anything to do with the in structural integrity of the piece that you're making you can use it in a double king size blanket to a mug rug it works in every piece that I've tried it in so far uh, I really like it uh, because when you set down a piece sometimes the ridges make it uh, a little wavy on the on the flat surface on this one since it's gonna be totally flat on the back it also lays flat so this is how you add in the negative stitch to any project that you're working, not just this one, um, with just that extra little stitch. It really changes the look of your overlay on the back. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to let me know as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and I hope this has helped you to learn the negative stitch.